Yo people, welcome back to a uh, random video, random video idea, I'm currently uploading uh, for the Cake Core channel and I just thought I would give this a go, it was on my list of things that I wanted to record, I'm going to try and create myself in Football Manager and I think what we'll do is we'll actually maybe play a few seasons, maybe I'll simulate a whole kind of career for this player and see what happens now it's going to be realistic okay i'm not going to give myself you know world-class stats for anything because you know point is i haven't played football competitively since primary school which is over half my life ago now it's very unrealistic to give me anything good i'm going to try and rate my current ability now how many games have i actually i've probably played only like one or two like actual games yeah one or two actual games and not like just kick around in a sports hall or something uh right so we're gonna make ourselves a player and here we go so this is the editor by the way we're doing this at fm20 by the time this goes out fm21 might be out but obviously not at time of recording uh we've got our unique id here first name it's going to be James, second name. Can we make it all, like, a space? Or do we have to have a first name? Boom, there we go, right. Sorted. We'll find out if that works or not. It's going to be a player. Ethnicity, uh, Northern European, hair colour. I don't even know what my hair colour is. Changeable. <laughs> uh, dark brown. Hair length, short, skin tone. Oh, that's helpful. Oh, there we go. Uh, right, date of birth. So I'm not going to give myself my actual age because I want to simulate like a, a reasonable career. So I'm going to make myself in game, I'm going to make myself 20. So if it starts in 2019, that means I would have to be born in 1999. We'll give ourselves that birthday. Uh, right, nation is obviously going to be Scotland. All right, there we go. Scotland, agent, we're not going to bother. Declare for nation, yes. I'm not declaring for anybody else. So, I'm going to leave this blank, but for our experiment, ooh, I feel like I should, m like, move myself to a club or something like that, I don't know, um, but we'll, we'll do this stuff later, let's go to the good stuff, so here we go, person data, so this is where you fill out all the attributes and stuff that kind of tell the game what sort of a person that I am in game, uh, how good a player I am, uh, what my strengths and weaknesses are, so this is kind of like, personality traits. To be honest, 10 is probably accurate for a lot of these. Uh, right, loyalty. I would say I'm pretty loyal. Well, mm, uh, yeah, no, I would say I'm pretty loyal. So we'll go for, let's do 14. I think 14 is reasonable. 14 is reasonable for loyalty. Controversy, I don't like being in controversy. I don't have much beef in the communities I'm in. So we're going to put that at like a 3. I like to keep myself to myself. Ambition, uh, am I ambitious? Not really. Well, sort of, uh, I think we'll make that an 8. Actually, no, seven, so less than average, but not, like, really, really low. Adaptability, not very adaptable, am I? But at the same time, I think I'm more adaptable than a lot of people. I'm going to give myself an 11 for that, which might be a wee bit generous, but anyway, move on. Pressure, I'm going to say four. I'm not very good at coping with pressure. So I'd like to think I was professional in some aspects, but at the same time... I'm kind of lazy, so uh, let's go for 9, or maybe 10, let's just do 10, straight down the middle. Sportsmanship, I would, I would like to think I'm fairly, you know, a good sport, you know, I don't rage much in ultra hardcore, well I do, but whenever I rage I'm raging at myself. I'm going to give myself, I'm going to be very generous and give myself 17 for sportsmanship. I don't think I'm going to go all the way to 20, uh, but we'll do 17. Temperament. Again, straight down the middle, maybe? Yeah, let's just do straight down the middle. So anyway, yeah, those are my personality attributes. All right, here we go. I've added languages, English 10, German 2. It's probably less, this is 2 out of 10, I should say. It says basic. I should say that it might be a fair reflection, but at the same time, it's, you know, I, I really don't know that much German. We'll just go with that. All right, shirt number, we don't have one. Current ability, right, so I think this is out of 200. We can check if I do that. Yeah, so 200. So if 200 is like best player of all time, uh, is one, I'm guessing one is like never kicked a ball sort of thing. But then I, I'd have to compare myself. So let's compare ourselves. So believe it or not, there are actually some 14 year olds in the game now. Um, I was a lot younger than this when I last played competitive football. But maybe looking at these guys, we can get an idea of, uh, you know, a sort of, rating I was at when uh, when I was around that age. So if we have a look at player data general, 
needs 17 ability. Wait, oh, they don't have a current ability. It's zero. Okay, it seems like the lowest rated Scottish players above the age of 20 are 10s. All these guys are rated as a 10. Um, and they're all over 20. So I think what I'm going to do... After all that research, I'm going to rate myself as oh a ten. Should we, let's do let's do conservative estimate. Let's do a six, okay? I'm going to rate myself at a six, so a lot lower than those people who've obviously played football a lot more, but obviously not quite as low as to where I'm a one. Potential ability. I'm going to give myself now. Keep in mind, potential ability doesn't mean future ability. It just means you know ability I could potentially reach. Alright, if you have a look here, there's a lot of there's a lot of Scottish players who are above twenty that are rated between fifty and sixty playing like part time football. Uh, according to football manager obviously. There's some I think that are even playing full time football. Clyde, that's that looks like a full time salary. So I think I think fifty is a fair estimate. I'm gonna give myself a potential ability of fifty because well, obviously I'm all older now, but if I was 20 and, you know, in an academy, you know, training and all that, I reckon, yes, there is potential there. I, f I feel like I would have potential, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't a bad football per se, I just wasn't as good as a lot of other people. Um, or should we, I feel like maybe 50 is a bit nice, a bit kind. Let's do 40, 42, random number. Right, current reputation, well, nobody knows about me, so... We're just gonna we're just gonna do one. World reputation is definitely one. Home reputation three. Height. How tall am I? One eight four, I think. Weight. I actually don't know my weight. I'm just gonna guess it's like seventy. Okay, left foot, right foot. Here's a good one. So my left foot is definitely the strongest. So I think the highest you can go is twenty. So I think it's fair to say left foot twenty. I'm guessing you can make it lower than that because obviously. I might be able to kick a ball, but can I kick a ball as well as, you know, Messi, for example? He's also left-footed. Um, that's the only comparison that will ever be drawn between me and him. <laughs> um, let's just say, let's just say, like, 17, because it's not terrible. Right foot is pretty terrible. I'm going to give myself a, should we just say three? You know, balance it out. In total, that makes 20. Right, has no work permit. That's true. Trained as non-EU in Italy. Nope. Right, national service, we don't need any of this stuff. Right, positions. So when I was younger, I played a lot of positions. I played a goal a lot. I might as well make myself a... I don't want to make myself a goalie, though. Wait, can you actually change these? Can you, like, make someone a goalkeeper and an outfield player? No, you can't. Right, okay. So we're, I'm going to make myself an outfield player. What positions did I play, out, play outfield? I played... I played centre-back quite a bit. I just remember playing centrally because... I never got to the stage where I was playing 11 a side. I might have played like one 11 a side game. The last like proper game I, I remember playing was a kind of, it was just a charity game when I was a lot older and I played right wing, but that's because nobody else wanted to play there. Put it this way, if I was to join a team and I could pick any position to be in, where would I want to play? Left back. Why? Well, for starters, it means I get to do a lot of running. Second of all, it means I'm kind of out of the way of the main action, which is in the middle. You know, I don't want to be in amongst it, so... I'll give myself 20 for uh, for left back, 10 for uh, uh, centre back. Also make myself a wing back, because why not? Right, there we go. Um, I've got my position sorted, so best positions, left back and wing back, le uh, left wing back. Uh, central, centre back and right back are kind of secondary positions along with left midfield, and then uh, right midfield, not so good. Up front, kind of secondary as well. I've just gone for basic stats here. I've not tried to do anything clever. Alright, so apparently there's this tab. I've not used the editor for years in this game, but apparently there's this tab, which is... Um, these are attributes you need to fill out in order to, like, kind of maintain your current ability. And I think they do it based on positions. So, crossing, dribbling, finishing, etc, etc. So, this is where the fun begins. How good am I at crossing? Um, I don't think I was terrible at crossing... But obviously I'm not going to give myself 20, you know, 20 is like David Beckham kind of range. So I think if 10 is average for a professional footballer, I'm going to give myself, I think higher than 5, between 5 and 10, maybe somewhere like, somewhere like 7 maybe. Uh, I kind of want to go 8, but I feel like 8 is a bit rich. Let's do 8, let's just go, let's just go, go all in. Uh, right, dribbling. I don't remember being that good at dribbling. Well, I was good at dribbling against people who were worse than me. That's as far as it went. I'm going to give myself a... 
Oh, is eight a bit much? Yeah, I think eight is a bit much for dribbling. Let's do six. Uh, I don't remember being that good at finishing. I didn't score many goals. To be fair, I never got in the position to score goals that often. Five, I guess. Heading, I don't remember being that good at heading. So, uh, three. Let's just do three. Long shots. I barely took long shots. Although I do remember playing at the park once and I scored a goal from a very, very tight angle. It was kind of like Roberto Carlos-esque if you've ever seen that goal from kind of down at the corner. It was kind of like that. But I don't remember being particularly good at long shots. So let's just see. Am I better at hitting or long shots? Probably one of the same. So we'll give, yeah, three. Marking. I don't remember being particularly particularly good at marking. See, these are getting worse all the time. <laughs> um, uh, let's just go... I don't want to give myself the lowest stat for anything, but I probably will have to. Marking two. Movement's a wee bit better. Let's do six for that. Passing... I wasn't that good at passing, to be honest. Right, penalty taking. I never took penalties for any of the teams I played for. I don't remember taking them too often in any other games. So... Five. No, four. Tackling, I was rubbish at tackling. That's weird. I wanted to be a left back and a rubbish at tackling. What? I'm gonna give myself a one. Oh, hand oh handling, that's only for goalkeepers. Um vision. How good am I at like picking out a pass or anything? Let's let's just go for uh let's just go for four. Right, all of these are goalkeeper stats, kicking, throwing, anticipation. Here we go. Anticipation. Um uh probably not that great. Give myself all, all, um, one or two. Let's do two. Decisions, one. I'm basing that off of UHC as well. Decision making, horrible. So it's obviously going to be bad in football as well. Uh, one and ones, that's goalkeeper, positioning, reflex. First touch. I don't have a great first touch, but I don't think it's terrible. I'm going to give myself a six. I'm going to be kind of generous. Technique isn't particularly great, but I'll give myself a five. I don't think I was the worst at striking a ball acceleration ah here we go so once you got the physical attributes that's where i begin to excel because obviously you know i trained in athletics and i'm still fairly athletic i would say i'm at the stage in life where i'm kind of like i should be at peak physical kind of fitness and stuff um acceleration i would say is pretty decent well, that's the thing acceleration doesn't equal speed it's how fast you can get to top speed isn't it i'm going to come back to that one let's do pace first actually so I never trained as a sprinter, but I was pretty fast out of, like, the group I trained with. We were all, like, mainly distance runners, and I was pretty fast amongst, like, over a short distance among them. I'm going to rate myself higher than a 10, because I'm definitely higher than average. 15's probably a bit generous. I'm going to go with, I think, oh, is 13 a bit generous? I'm going to go with 12, because that's kind of not quite halfway to, you know, between 10 and 15, but it's a lot higher than 10. So we'll do 12. And how fast can I get to top speed? Probably... I feel like acceleration was pretty good. I feel like I was pretty sharp. I'm going to go higher than 12 for this. And I'm going to go 14. I feel like I was fairly sharp. Agility though, not so much. I had a, an injured muscle which made the ability to twist and turn wasn't as good. Like, it was still good, it just hurt to do so. I'm going to get 11. Balance... I, I don't think my balance was particularly good. I don't even really know what that's based off of but we'll go eight for balance jumping reach i'm pretty good at jumping jumping up high in the air again let's go 12 for that right stamina obviously i was a distance runner doesn't mean my stamina was good <laughs> um i mean I, i've got to you know back myself on my stamina strength is bad i'm gonna give myself like six no six is probably a bit generous five we'll do five for strength uh, stamina. It's going to be higher than 10. Is it as high as fi it's not as high as 15 though. I'm going to give myself 11. Alright, next up, corners. I feel like I was alright taking corners. I did 8 for crossing. Corners are basically crossing, so we'll do 10. Uh, teamwork. I mean, if we're basing this off of UHC, my teamwork should be about 2, so I'm not going to back myself with teamwork. I'm gonna, like, I'd like to think I was a team player. I just generally in life, I'd like to think I'm willing, you know, I'm willing to work with others and that, but, you know, translated into a football pitch, it's very different. So I think I'm going to give myself seven. Let's do seven, I think. Right, I just took a wee bit of a break there. And I'm going to return to what's current ability dependent attributes we're working on. We just finished teamwork. I'd given myself a seven. Um, work rate, that was the one that I was struggling on. Oh, I think... I think I'm going to be mm, not generous. Let's do seven again. 
I think is better than a five. Ah, uh, maybe eight. I want to give myself a bit higher because it's a mental attribute. And I feel like I've got that. You know, the ability to put in a lot of work. Obviously not quite as much as a pro. Um, but there you go. Long throws two, I guess. Just because I've never taken throw-ins. I never got to the you know the age in football where it was always kick-ins when I was uh, playing. I, I bat myself with free kicks, actually. I remember once I was at an athletics event and... It was in uh, an athletics arena where there was an indoor football pitch, like, in the stand. Like, it was unreal just going to this 11-a-side football pitch, AstroTurf, in a stand. I remember whipping in a free kick uh, from a very tight angle. It was really cool. Um, I'd probably say if 20s, you know, 20s like Beckham kind of level, 10s average is obviously going to be, well, is it less than average? I kind of want to go 9, you know. I genuinely want to back myself. I mean, it's been years, and I'm not sure how good I would be now. I'm going to say nine. I'm going to be a wee bit generous, so slightly below average. I mean, generally, I think I possess, yeah, some leadership attributes, qualities, and whatnot. But in terms of football, not so much. Although I have played football manager for, you know, a long, long time. So maybe that counts for it. Um, so not quite a one. Let's go four. Bravery. Bravery is going to be low. I'm going to say bravery one. Bravery 1, not 10, 1. Let's uh, be brutally honest here, I'm not brave whatsoever. Composure, again, is going to be low, probably a 2. And you can see that this is another stat that kind of plays out in, like, ultra-hardcore pressured situation. Am I the one that's going to be keeping calm? Not really. Uh, concentration, does my mind wander? My mind does tend to wander just by any task I do. How concentrated can I stay on a football field? Or are there things that happen that I don't really notice? Probably. Five. It's better than composure, but not as good as, well, free kick taking and uh, all that. Right, so I filled out some of my mental attributes. Let's do the ones that I've not filled out. So we've got aggression. Um, am I aggressive? Not particularly. I don't want to give myself a one, though. I'm going to say three. Consistency. Oh, that's a hidden stat. How consistent am I? I mean, I'm consistently inconsistent, so, uh, you know. Let's just do eight. Our go-to number. Uh, right, what's this? Determination. Yeah, I'm determined. I feel like I'd be determined, but not, like, super determined. Again, I'm going to give myself a 7 for that. So not quite a 5, but I can't put myself up to 10. Dirtiness. I'm not that dirty. 1. Uh, flair. I did have, a, you know, some some tricks up my sleeve. You know, I want to bat myself here. Maybe not so much in, like, organised football, but in kick arounds. I feel like I could, I could pull out some flair moves. So, uh, flair moves, that's obviously not proper language but whatever um so it's 10 a bit high i think 10's a bit high i'm gonna go eight or nine. like here's here's the thing right i remember you know i wasn't that good but i remember playing for the school once and uh i was up we we're up against a really good team and i still i managed to get the ball past one of their one of their players and kind of like uh you know i put it around one side and then run around the other pretty sure i got tackled on the other side but you know still that the point is that shows I've got a wee bit about me. You know, it's not it's not just a one or a two. This is something we've got to think about. I'm gonna go. It's nine, nine's a bit high. I think it's higher than determination, consistency. I mean, consistency was just a stab in the dark. So let's just do eight. Important matches. How good are we at important matches? I say we, me. <laughs> how good am I? Probably not that high. I think if it was like a a, a cup final or something, I would buckle under the pressure. So I'm gonna go uh, two. Uh, positioning, how good am I at positioning? Well, I remember in PE at high school, whenever we did fit bond, I was always like, I always played on the wing to kind of keep away from everyone. I used to always um, just stay out there because it was easy, easy positioning. You know, just hug the line when we're in possession and then when we do off possession, run the heck back. I'm six. Right, that was mental attributes, physical attributes, injury proneness. Here's one for you. I mean, this would have been, I got a few injuries when I was younger. I'm guessing 20 is bad and one is good. So maybe this is the first one that we could be in double figures for a while. And I'm, I'm just going to give myself a, probably a 10, I would say. Right, natural fitness. I feel like I'm naturally fit. So I'm going to give myself a... Ooh, right, 20 is a bit high. But I do feel... Is 15 a bit high? See, natural fitness isn't really a football skill. I mean, none, none of these physicals are. Like, all of these physicals, apart from maybe balance, could be uh, translated into other sporting activities so natural fitness i feel like i could get away with a 13 or a 14 can we make this my best stat i'm gonna buy myself let's do let's do 15 right just because i feel like generally 
it doesn't take me long to get back up to you know full fitness. Right, technical attributes. We've already done a lot. I actually kind of want to change my finishing. I was I was reflecting on it um, in between recordings, and I kind of think it needs to be a wee bit higher than five. So maybe go to seven. I was basing the stat on like organised matches, like competitively. But then I thought, you know, later in life when I did, you know things like in PE or whatever, I, I think I was a lot better. How versatile am, am I? Can I play in different positions? I mean, I'm bad, so generally it doesn't matter what position I play and I'm not going to get any worse. So does that put me up to 20 maybe? I think if we're talking about versatility, it means good, like at a good level. So let's just go for it. seven. All right, goalkeeping attributes don't matter. Ah, here we go. Preferred moves. What preferred moves do I have? Right, we can ignore the first three. Running with ball. I know I said I've got a bit of flair, but I don't... I don't recall running with the ball all that much. I mean, I, I recall taking it past people, but not to the extent, like, to a great extent. Getting into opposition penalty area, or opposition area, I guess. Shoots with power. Yeah, that's me. Um, shoots from distance, probably not. Tries killer ball often. <laughs> don't try the killer ball at all. Play short, simple passes. I mean, the thing is, even my short, simple passes would go amiss, so we can't do that one. Gets forward whenever possible. Crosses early. That sounds like something I would do, I think. I'd be the sort of player that would just, you know, get to the byline, cross it in. That says more about my lack of vision than, you know, actual skill. That's more... That's So that could actually be a, a negative for some teams. Plays ball with feet. Uh, like, as opposed to uh, what, exactly? Hands? <laughs> Likes to beat man... Okay, I think that's it. So we've got four preferred moves in there. Gets forward whenever possible. Uh, shoots with power. Curls ball and crosses early. The only thing I'm not sure about is the gets forward whenever possible. I think we're going to take that one off and we're just going to stick with three. Injuries, bans, MLS player details, none of these matter. Right, relationships, here we go, favourite people. Do I have any favourite people in the game? Like, you can add, like, icons. Uh, right, we're not going to have any family members. Relation, teammate, manager, player, idol. I, mean, I, don't, I don't really have any major football idols. Let's see if any of these these guys are in the game. These are some of my favourite players from back in the day. Alright, yeah, we'll have Kevin Cuthbert in there. I wouldn't say 100, I'd say more. I mean, I'll just go 50. It was kind of a childhood thing. Um, let's see, favourite people add... Let's add Jody Morris. He's a non-player. He's an assistant manager at Chelsea, actually, at the moment. Uh, no, he's not my father. Um... We'll put him at, oh, at 50 as well. And finally, one last player. Oh. Again, these are all my favourite Saints players. Oh, how'd you get rid of them? Stephen McLean, who also played for St. Johnston. Stephen McLean. And I spelt it right. Player with heart. There we go. Nope, not father. Um, idol. Cool. All right, disliked people. Oh, we could fill this with a lot of people. Let's see, Sergio Ramos, a hundred. Nah, I don't. I don't dislike him that much. Maybe more like seventy-five. How about Pepe? Is that him? Yep, that's him. Plays for Sporting Club de. No, not Sporting Club de Portugal. That's uh, Sporting Lisbon. We'll do seventy-five. Uh, actually, now let's put up to eighty-five. No, I can't think of anyone else. So we'll just uh, we'll re we'll remove this one, and uh, we'll go down to favorite clubs. Of course, there's only one. You know what it was, or what it is. Alright, there we go. St. Johnson supporter, level 100. Brilliant. So that's the only club we like. Disliked clubs. Oh, yes. I've just realised I probably shouldn't put too many disliked clubs just because if I'm simulating a career, then my player probably won't want to go to these clubs. So um, we'll just have the two Dundee clubs, I guess. Uh, remove that. Uh, Gretna's 100. Dundee United's 100. Dundee kind of controversial. I'm going to put it down to 75. Mm, actually, no, I'll just put it down to 50. Yeah, I don't really dislike Dundee all that much. Uh, right, playing history, non-playing history achievements, none of those matter. I think we've got our player. So the game's changed a lot since I last used the editor a lot. It took me several tries before I got my profile, uh, or my player's profile, onto uh, the game. And uh, I could only do it if I added me, myself to a, a, a team, so I added myself to Elgin City, who, uh, what league are they in? They're in the bottom league, the bottom professional Scottish league. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the reserve squad, which basically means I'm rubbish if I can't even get into the Elgin City squad. I'm out listed for loan. What, what does all that mean? On loan. 
So that must mean out on loan. And blue must mean, yeah, they're on loan from another team. Look at this. Former Team United have loaned Elgin City a player. That's interesting. Um, right. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at the profile. That's, uh, that's the whole reason we're here. So there it is. The stats are just as I... Uh, put them in. Yeah, I'm, I'm rubbish, okay? Let's not beat around the boost. I am rubbish. Now, my best position's at left back. Uh, if you have a look at this, right, so <laughs> full back, defend, look at look at that one, one, one. I d what, what even is my best position? Media description, attacking full back. I'm surprised the media even know who I am. I mean, could I have improved any of these? I don't, realistically, I don't think so. I mean, okay, one, maybe one is a wee bit, um, harsh, but the thing is, I couldn't really see myself any higher than a 1. That's part of the problem. Was I a bit too generous with natural fitness? Not really. Well, maybe a little. Maybe 13 or 14, but I think overall I was f pretty fair. And the fact that I'm in the Elgin City Reserve Squad pretty much is my level. Well, it's probably not my level. My level's probably in, like, the, you know, a few div divisions below Reserve Squad. Um, but the fact I got one for Markley, one for Tackling, one for Anticipation, and I'm a defender isn't great. I feel like I, I was a bit too low on my pace. I feel like my pace should be a bit higher, but yeah, whatever. Uh, there's plenty of people out there that are faster than me. So yeah, this is my profile. I think what I'm going to do, so this is part one. Part two will be in a few weeks. I think for part two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a bunch of databases. So the English leagues, the Scottish leagues, maybe like the Welsh, Irish, Northern Irish leagues, and I'm just going to play a whole career with this player and see well, see how far it goes. I mean, he might retire instantly. Then again, he might actually have some career in the lower divisions. Ah, there's my personality too, fairly sporting. That came as a result of, I think, um, sportsmanship was the highest personality attribute that I had. So there you go. So well, let's compare me to some of the other players, some of the other real players I should add in the uh, the team. Uh, player comparison, compared with James and Douglas, um, yeah. You can tell immediately by the graph this guy is so much better than me. Yeah, you can tell, look look how many of this guy's stats are below 5, very, very few. Whereas look how many of my stats are below 5, quite a lot. Quite a lot of my stats are at 1. Here's another left back. Eh, he's not that great either, although he is younger than me, so, in game. So, an IRL. <laughs> but the, the point is, his stats are more comparable with me when I'm, you know, older. Let's do the comparison again. Yeah, that's... So, if I'd made myself 17, maybe that would have suited me better. But this guy's on loan at Strathspey Thistle. And as you can see by the graph, that's a bit more comparable with me. He's still better in many departments, but it's definitely, definitely more comparable. And we might as well have a look at one of their first-team players. Uh, first team left back, Andy McDonald. One of his act I mean, one of mine could have been above 15, but I decided not to. But he's got determination, which is above 16. <laughs> Jeez, look at that. Look at my piddly wee graph. I'm not going to change any of the stats because I don't think that's realistic. You know, I want to try and keep it as realistic as possible. And I think a lot of those do fairly reflect me. Ability, yeah. There's a wee bit of room for, like, potential, like, room for growth there, but not too much. You know, I'm not going to get to the level where I'm, you know, a world beater. Um, but as you can see, I, I, I'm fairly happy with all those. I still don't even know what my right position is. Maybe, yeah, winger. Maybe other if, if teams sign me, they'll have to train me up as a winger. But yeah, we'll get less reputable teams in the game and see how I do with, career, uh, with a career. Anyway, yeah, that'll do. Thank you for checking this out. And uh, yeah, join me again next time to see how Football Manager James does. <laughs> I'll see you later.